Hello my friends, here's the project live page we'll be working on today. We're incorporating a lot of stamping here. So here's my basic layout and I just cut everything down and these are two um, designer papers that I just had in my stash. I rounded all the corners with my quarter chomper to match the um, pre-made cards. This was a menu from one of the restaurants. I just cut it down for the title there. And I just simply began with this first pocket to the left and just started gluing things down. The existing or um, pre-made cards are from the DIY American Crafts set. And I'm going to start on this pocket here with my stamping. I'm using Lawn Fawn stamps today. And this is called A, a Birdie Told Me. So I first stamped the speech bubble on white cardstock and then I'm stamping the bird image directly on my pocket. And now I'm using Smitty's ABCs, also from Lawn Fawn, to stamp my title. It's 31 weeks. And I use the Hero Arts Pool ink. And I use that throughout this layout. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing a little better. I'm just taking some Stampin' Up! markers and just coloring this little image very quickly. Nothing fancy here. You can use any markers you have. I'm sticking to the blues here to make sure everything matches. Um, I'm taking another image from that same stamp set and I'm stamping the star and then I'm taking the fine tip point and very roughly coloring it in so that it looks sort of sketchy just to add some color and embellishment. And then I wanted to add another bird to the same pocket here, so I took the other image, I colored it the same way and cut it out, and I used my mini glue dots to stick it to my photo. And that will finish this pocket. Then I moved on to my little journaling card. So I'm just starting my journaling. And then I incorporated another stamp from Basic Gray just to use this arrow. And again, I'm using the same pool color ink from Hero Arts. Since this journaling will go below the menu, so I have the arrow pointing upwards. Very basic here, just matting my photo onto the design designer paper. And then this pocket, I didn't like that green now. It didn't really match. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to cover it up. So I'm trying to use the same designer paper I've, I've already used. And I end up using the polka dot pattern. I just measure it out, cut it down. Then I glued it on top of that little strip there and then rounded the corner. So now I um, modified this to match better and then just simply added my journaling. And again, I just kind of like to draw a little squiggle sometimes, my little arrows there, to point to the picture above. Moving on to the next pocket, some more stamping here, another Lawn Fawn set. This is the Blissful Botanical set. And again, keeping it simple, I'm just stamping it on some white cardstock and then again, I will simply color them in with my markers and then cut them out. Nothing fancy. So I'm using my date stamp here to get my date. And here's the images I colored and cut out. Just trying to get placement. So there's my journaling and I'm using my two-way glue pen from Stampin' Up to glue this down onto my photo. And I'm just trimming this one off so it fits in the pocket. And that finishes that pocket. Very easy. And here's the next pocket. I accidentally wrote the wrong date, so I'm using a label sticker there to cover it up. And now I will write the correct date. So I love those label stickers for that. I'm using this 
older stamp set to add some stamping within my journaling. So using again the same Hero Arts ink so that it all matches, I'm stamping the words baby shower and then adding my journaling around that. And this little pacifier is actually from one of the gift bags I got. So I just um, used it on this pocket and cut it down. And then I felt that this was a little bit empty, so I took that same star image from the Lawn Fawn set, and I'm stamping it here in this blank space to fill it. And also adds continuity, so it all matches. And again, I'm going to do the same thing by coloring it in just so that, again, it all matches. So very quick and easy these pockets were. And that finishes that pocket. So on the bottom left is a card I got. And then these are some cards that had a lot of signs in it from my coworkers. So I just folded them and tucked them behind those two pockets there so that I can keep them. So here's the finished page. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.